Hey YouTube, I'm a certified doula, so let's talk about what that looks like for your birth. It's birth, um, you see that the mom is pretty chill. She's doing great, looking great, getting some makeup done. I am working some acupressure points on her ankles. Um, it is helping cervical ripening and contractions to keep getting consistently close together. Um, when mom is chilling, I really like to do acupressure or just some gentle massage. You'll see here things are getting a little more intense for her, so she has decided to get into the tub. I'm helping make sure her IV is protected and um, for a while I just kind of stand and watch and see how mom's doing if she doesn't need me I don't jump in but then of course sometimes mom will want that hands-on support here you can see I'm giving some counter pressure on her backside um, showering her this tub has a fantastic attached shower head so I'm giving her some warm water on her back Another thing I do is kind of give support when there are medical procedures or just things happening. You see here the nurse is checking her. Um, I'm helping mom get to the bathroom after she's in the tub. That's a checks pad I'm holding because she was um, her water broken. So this is a fun little video too. And she is still feeling pretty great as you can tell. Just dancing around. Um, doing her thing, rocking it out. So I am just in the background kind of dancing really poorly, just being with her. So here you can see I'm providing some hip squeezes to the mom while she's being supported by her partner. This is going to be another angle of the same work going on, just kind of supporting her, helping her support her stomach and then getting that back some love. This is a really great video of us just swaying in time together as a whole support unit while mom has a contraction in the middle. Um, and again here mom is on the back of the bed back at the bed getting some monitoring I believe and again I'm just helping her be comfortable you'll notice that I'm taking a lot of different different positions also that's because as a doula it's really important for me to stay fresh and make sure I'm not over exhausting myself so I can conserve my energy for the whole birth um, it's just really good for people to know even if there's a need you for you to be on the monitor, for example, or close to a um, station, there's still a lot of ways you can be out of the bed, you can be upright, um, and duels can really help facilitate that. This is mom going to the bathroom. I'll do a separate video about how you can make your bathroom a great place to labor, and you see here, even though this mom is very much in labor, we're still having fun. This is in the middle of an actual contraction. Also in the bathroom, you see the lights there made it a little comfortable, and we are just providing some support to her back. Um, and at this point, it's kind of interesting in labor, you know, mom and dad really started taking over. One thing I try to do as a doula is to see when they don't need me and just kind of step out. So here, mom is starting to push. You see her midwife there is kind of checking how things are going. You see dad is supportive. I love that she is in an upright position that was very well supported by her care team. And at this point in labor, I just like to make sure things are going well, that mom has all she needs. If she needs chapstick or water or anything at all like that, I like just to be there, quickly provide it. Um, I'm in, you know, I'm in the picture if mom needs me, especially if she needs some verbal or support and I just try to like to fade in the background if she doesn't really need me and just kind of watch things unfold again very often I'm asked to do photos during pushing um, if the family hasn't hired a birth photographer so that's kind of what it looks like from my perspective when people push there's a lot more to it and I should do a separate video about pushing one day so here mom is using a little pulley I made with the scarf I had in my bag. Um, she was finding a lot of force and help with pushing that way. So that's an example of when I kind of jump in with the helpful suggestion and sometimes it really works well. Then of course the baby is born. Oh man, this was such a wonderful birth. Very special. Mom and dad did so great. And of course this is the best part of the job is welcoming a new soul into the world, enjoying that moment with that family, uh, making sure again that mom and dad are okay. Doulas really believe that um, when the family kind of comes first, everything else will follow. If we center our care around them, everything's going to be okay, this baby's going to be okay, um, things are going to go well. If we prepare them to be parents and support them in that journey, um, you know, then, then it's all going to be all right. And lastly, before I leave the hospital, I do like to make sure that mom and baby are off to a good breastfeeding start. I definitely like to see a latch before I leave and then make sure mom is confident to call lactation at the hospital or a private um, IBCLC if she desires to come and check things out. I know breastfeeding can be really tricky. A lot of times there isn't a lot of support. So doulas are really kind of like a buffer for any problems. We can usually quickly spot them or just hear from mom when something's not going well. 
um, just because doulas are very familiar with a lot of mom baby things of course we can kind of quickly say oh yeah that's not normal let's let's get you to someone who can help so that wraps up what i do as a doula in the birth and i hope that you learned something new i hope that this demystified a little bit of what doula care is um, it's very practical, very hands-on, truly helpful. Um, I love hearing from my clients when they have a really positive birth, knowing that someone was with them, supporting them throughout. Um, so if you have any questions about any of this, feel free to leave a comment. My deep thanks to the family um, pictured in this birth. Thank you for letting me share your story. And thank you to Brittany of Blessed Be Photography, who took all these beautiful photos. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.